In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can make objects float in your video. So stick around. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rupert Films, and in today's video, I'm talking all about this really cool object levitation effect. Now, this effect is really cool because it combines practical effects and visual effects. So to begin with, you want to find an object that you want to make appear to levitate in your video. Now, once you've found that object, you want to go out and you want to go and buy some fishing wire. Now, grab a length of that fishing wire, grab one end of the wire, and you want to either tape this or tie this to your object that you want to float. Make sure that you can't see the tape or the knot on the object because this is really going to give this effect away. Now, you want to mount your camera to a tripod. You want to pick up the object by the wire and you want to dangle this in front of the camera. Just make sure you keep your hand out of the shot. Now, once you've captured this, you want to go ahead and you want to remove that from the shot and you want to leave the camera rolling for around 10 seconds. And like I say, in most of these videos, this is your clean plate and you need this in order to do the effect. So once you have both of those videos, that's one of the object floating with the fishing wire in the shot and you have your clean plate, we need to get these onto the computer and begin the editing. So once you load up Adobe Premiere Pro, you need to begin by separating your video. So you want one part of this video to be the floating object and then you want the other part of the video to be the clean plate. Of course, if you shot these in different takes, then you can go ahead and import both of those videos now. But once you've sorted both of these out, you need to go ahead and place the clean plate on video layer one and you need to place the floating object footage onto video layer two. Now from here, you want to go ahead and zoom into the object where you can see the fishing wire and you want to go over to opacity and select the mask tool. Now you want to draw a mask around that string and back in mask, you want to go ahead and press inverted. So as you can see, that has removed that string, but we need to go ahead and we need to animate this. So we'll go back into masks and we'll press keyframe on mask path. We'll skip ahead in the video and we're going to update the mask so that the string or the fishing wire in your example is hidden. Now you need to keep scrubbing through the video and keep updating the keyframe so that the string or the fishing wire is hidden for the entire duration of the shot. Now, as soon as you've completed that, we can go ahead and create some fake digital camera movement to completely tie this effect together. So we're going to select both of these video layers. We'll go into nest. We'll create a brand new nested sequence. We'll scroll to the very beginning of this video, create keyframes for the scale and the position. We'll scroll towards the end of the video and we'll increase the scale up to around 115%. And now if we play this back, you'll see that the camera is slowly pushing towards the object, the object is floating, and that is how you complete this effect. And that's it. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you tomorrow for more really creepy Halloween tutorials. See you there.